This case is called nephrocalcinosis or calcium in the kidney. And rather than thinking that this is a very specific exotic diagnosis, just take it for what it's named, nephrocalcinosis. Calcium plating out or depositing in the kidney for whatever reason, most likely all generally related to too much calcium in the blood. This is like a reverse x-ray, so the bones look darker and the soft tissues look lighter. And please note in this kidney you have some irregular dark areas within the kidney. And on the other side, you have some irregular dark areas as well. So there are densities within the kidney that uh, are more dense than the soft tissue of the kidney itself. These are calcium deposits. Here is a gross specimen of the kidney. I think you could recognize a major calyx or perhaps a pelvis being opened here and along here. And here is a little area that looks a little gritty and yellowish. And if you were to take this kidney now uh, and look at it, you would say on low power, hey, this doesn't look too bad, especially if you compared it to a normal kidney. In a normal kidney, you can see glomeruli out here in the cortex. You can see a lot of tubules. You can see blood vessels. And you can see that the tubules are all pretty nice. They don't have this little calcium plating out or depositing in them. On the other hand, if you look closer at the uh, cortex of nephrocalcinosis, sure, you see some glomeruli. Sure, you see some tubules. But when you go closer and closer, you can see that many of these tubules are replaced by uh, calcium deposits. And this is a really excellent demonstration of what happens to the kidneys uh, when it, they can't handle calcium and the calcium starts to plate out or salt out uh, within the tubules. This often happens in metastatic calcification. In fact, this is a type of metastatic calcification, which are all, almost always associated with serum calcium levels being too high. On the other hand, a dystrophic type of calcification would be a primary calcium deposition due to long-standing chronic inflammation or fibrosis and is usually not associated with a high serum calcium. But this is metastatic calcification in the kidney otherwise known as nephrocalcinosis, and thank you very much.